Starting off at number 6, we have the Taylor 310 CE Dreadnought. An old school body perfected. Taylor's 310 CE blends classic dreadnought tone and bass response with the ultimate Taylor sound quality, bright trebles and an expansive, airy middle range that Bob Taylor's trademark design emphasizes. Dreadnoughts respond exceptionally well to light picking or heavy strumming. This dreadnought guitar provides you with one of the most popular of guitar shapes, fitting for all the players from the powerful tone, deep lows, and crisp highs. The Taylor 310 CE is a slight alternative on their classic 310 Dreadnought, highlighting a cutaway as great as built-in expression system pickups so it grants the player to be able to perform with it right out of the box. The impressive projection of this guitar makes it ideal for folk players but it doesn't limit you to only that, you can rock on with it in rock or jazz styles, as well. The Sitka Spruce produces a bright soundboard with a broad dynamic range, while the Sapele sides form out a powerful tone, delivering a depth that's particularly distinct in the low end. To conclude the 310 CE is amongst the soundest Taylor acoustic guitars. The substantial Taylor adventure proceeds with the updated 310 CE Sapele Spruce Dreadnought Cutaway Acoustic Electric Guitar. Checking up next, at number 5, we have the Taylor Builders Edition V-Class K14CE. A first-class electroacoustic with a game-changing construction. The Builders Edition V-Class K14CE is quite a declaration of intent. It merges the unique V-bracing with a distinctly diverse, extra-convenient, grand auditorium characteristic. Of course, its build character is nothing short of extraordinary as we would suppose, and not least at this rate. We're further hinted of the K14C's high-end series, however, by the spring vine inlay that occupies down the majority of the dark brown ebony board, while a moderate koa purfling line rests just inside the ebony edge, and continues throughout the headstock, which is over ebony faced with an almost reserved power inlay. The gold godo tuners entirely match the lightly worn vibe, just like the green abalone spots in the ebony bridge. While there's loads for those who love details to cherish. The modernized Taylor guitar is hugely classified in terms of striking feel. Like its cousins in the V-Class series, it flaunts a large number of innovative traits. Most striking is the unique bracing design, so let's begin there. The V-Class guitars avoid the X-style bracing that has long governed acoustic guitar construction. Rather, the top bracing adds two long braces designed in a V-shape including its spot at the end pin. Next up, at number 4, we have the Taylor GS Mini. Great guitars that own large dreadnoughts are mandatorily obliged to be powerful and have a rich quality in sound, given that size as being here the central factor, smaller guitars like Taylor GS Mini are presumed to be the contrary of that, with a distinctly lower volume. Nevertheless, this sound restriction has been improved by the Taylor GS Mini thanks to the features used and the creativity represented by the company. A compact guitar that equips the player with great quality, Taylor GS Mini is a pleasant small guitar that can be valued as an acoustic superstar. Composing a lively, charismatic quality sound that would go contradictory to the saying, size matters, this guitar is extremely manageable and is perfect to have around when you want to have a piece of wondrous instrument on the go, yet it is still very comfortable to hold and perform in the warmth of your house or just about any place. The guitar's rear and sides are both made out of sapele while the top is made from substantial Sitka spruce, a feature frequently encountered in high-end acoustic guitars. Most of the acoustic guitars use low-quality wood for the bridge and fretboard, but this guitar utilizes real ebony wood. Moving on, at number 3, we have the Baby Taylor Acoustic Guitar. Charm, elegance, and simplicity are all statements that can easily be used to define this Baby Taylor acoustic guitar. It emphasizes a three-quarters scale cutaway dreadnought body character with substantial mahogany sides as well as back. There can be no doubt that it looks astounding, but the real question here is how does it sound? Surprisingly, it performs even better than it looks. As with other scaled-down guitars of Taylor, they have somehow succeeded to decrease the size without crippling the sound quality. How they accomplish this when so countless other guitar companies fail, we may never know. 
It is no mystery that Taylor manufactures some exceptional guitars, but this could easily be regarded as one of the high-grade Taylor guitars. It is in the affordable cost series but sounds similar to a high-end guitar that would take a year's worth of savings to obtain. In conclusion, it holds its unquestionable status as one of the Taylor gems, particularly considering its size, oftentimes, you ought to sacrifice the essence of quality for the size, but this is not the situation with this guitar. At number 2, we have the Taylor Guitars Big Baby Taylor. For the artist in you and the adventuresome spirit you may want to set loose, for the times you'll make the best recollections out of and the times people will cherish you for, the harmony you'll inflect and the small space the big baby tailor it'll take. When it comes to guitars there are full-sized guitars and there are travel-friendly guitars, big baby tailor locates itself someplace in the midst of this spectrum. The benefits this guitar provides are countless, but we'll try to characterize the most important ones. Aside from being convenient for traveling this guitar provides you with a buzzing volume and bass response. The body uniqueness of the Dreadnought translates into a guitar that is smaller than the standard Dreadnought you may encounter on the many standard-sized guitars, but nonetheless, it still maintains the richness of projection that a traditional Dreadnought provides. Being a tailor the construct gives the guitar a sense of polished looks and quality, and that is thanks to the top which is made from solid Sitka spruce, while the sides and back use laminated sapele. The neck is made of solid sapele, and the fretboard is made of genuine African ebony. The tonewoods of the big baby tailor provide the player and the listener with an amazingly pleasant well-rounded sound. To finish up our list, at number 1, we have the Taylor 314 Grand Auditorium. The Taylor 314 guitar fuses an impressive auditorium-style construction that has the width and depth of a dreadnought form yet contributes the intensely vibrant tones that will sweep you beyond when you play it the first time. The neck is slim, allowing you to build chords and strike the strings with ease. Highlighting a spruce top with sapele back and sides, the guitar is composed for stability and bright tones. Furthermore, an ebony bridge stands out stylishly on the frame to provide it with a lovely and distinctive feature. Taylor's 314 Grand Auditorium guitar brings a professional playing skill for newcomers and professional players to the counter. It plays wonderful and leaves room for lots of opportunities to grow your abilities for ages to come. The resonance of the 314 CE is mesmerizing. It's got all of the glory that Taylor is known for, and is greatly well balanced with just the proper amount of bass response and the incredible warmness as conveyed from the sapele back and sides. The top on this guitar is extremely active. It projects volume notably great and responds perfectly to shifts in pick attack. Thanks for watching, if you want to read a more detailed review about each of these guitars, you can visit us at www.guitarsquid.com.